We love a good bodyguard romance. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now for today's video, I'm doing another historical romance trope recommendation video. I know I just keep pumping these out, but the more I read, the more I see these tropes floating around and it just makes me excited to kind of like grab all the ones that I have read in the past plus the new ones that I have read so that I can give these recommendations out before I forget it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of quick little binge of all these tropes and hopefully you guys are also adding a lot of books to your TBR. For this one, we're focusing on bodyguard romances um from the few that i've read i really like them i really like how the bodyguard is an actual bodyguard they're hired to protect our heroine or they are just there to watch over them to make sure that they're not you know doing any shenanigans doing anything that they're not supposed to be doing and also protecting them from evil villains so let's get started on some recommendations so the first recommendation that i do have for you is actually the one that inspired for me to make this video in the first place this one's called third son a Charm by Shannon Galen and this one I loved so much. It's one of my favorites of this year but basically it involves our heroine who is deeply in love with a man that she shouldn't be in love with and our heroine's father doesn't like the idea that she always tries to keep running away with this man because our father actually knows that that guy is actually you know ill reputation and is a scammer basically and just wants her for her fortune so the father doesn't want this to keep happening where she keeps sneaking out on midnight rendezvous kind of just causing a lot of trouble and possibly ruining her reputation. So he asks the help of our hero who used to be kind of like an undercover agent that went on secret missions for the crown and have went through battles, you know, have done spying and espionage and things like that. And he's very trained and he's very skilled at protecting people because he's described to be kind of like a Viking like character with his like blonde hair, blue eyes, big muscle built and very tall and strong structure and our hero actually believes that he is only useful because of his like fighting tactics and his body and that he's able to suffer endurance and a lot of physical activity but he looks down on himself a lot for his intelligence simply because he has difficulty reading and understanding numbers and things like that which I have a sneaking suspicion that he actually had dyslexia but it was just obviously undiagnosed because back then dyslexia didn't exist like they didn't know what dyslexia is so if you're looking for a character who has dyslexia and a hero who is always looking down at himself and he's a soft cinnamon role then this one is definitely for you too as well but basically he's hired to protect our heroine and our heroine doesn't like the fact that he's always in her space or so she thinks because the more they spend time with each other the more they grow friendlier with each other and the more they keep touching each other so if you're looking for a kind of fun enemies to lovers turn friends to lovers romance then this one is definitely for you so the next recommendation that I do have for you is actually one that I've loved so dearly that I've actually asked my friends to read it and they've read it too and they absolutely loved it. I'm sure you'll love it too if you haven't read it already. This one is from Elizabeth Hoyt called Dearest Rogue and involves our heroine who is actually visually impaired. She is going blind and she's starting to lose like her sight. So she is definitely not going to let this stop her from going around doing the things that she loves and going on these like little adventures but her brother thinks otherwise and her brother actually asks her his close friend and slash comrade that he's worked with in the past to kind of watch over her and to make sure that she's not getting into, you know, ridiculous trouble and getting herself injured and hurt along the way. And now our hero is the bodyguard, but he himself has his own dark little past history. You know, he's been injured in the war. He thinks himself as less, as like less of a man now. And just because our female heroine is blind, it doesn't mean that, you know, she can't find a good husband. So he starts doubting himself and he starts to think that, you know, maybe he's not worthy of her love too as well. 
So if you're looking for a lovely friends to lovers romance filled with a lot of misadventures, then this one's definitely for you. I really adored this one. Now the next recommendation that I do have for you is one from Joanna Lindsay. This one is called When Passion Rules and this involves our heroine who has lived a very comfortable life but then she discovers that she is actually the long lost princess of this country so she decides that she wants to meet her father again and she wants to meet her blood father and to hopefully learn to how to become a proper princess and rule the country that she is the princess of. So she goes on this grand road trip adventure into that country but then she's soon captured by the army guards of that country and they don't believe her obviously that she is the long lost princess and our hero is actually captain of the guards and he is actually responsible for throwing her in to the jail cell and keeping her locked up but he is there to protect her from any harm that does come along with being in a prison and he keeps a watchful eye on her to make sure that she's not doing anything that is out of line and mischievous and that could cause harm to the crown and this is their budding romance where it's kind of like an enemies to lovers and an overprotective hero trope. So the next recommendation that I do have for you is one from Kerrigan Byrne. This one's called Tempting Fate and I actually never read this one yet but it's on the top of my TBR list because it just sounds so good. But this basically involves our bookish female heroine who just likes to get lost in the pages of her romance novels and she realizes that she inherited a lot of money and now a lot of people want to court her and want to be with her but she also is being put in danger because there's a lot of threats that are happening and that she could possibly get killed because of all the money that she has inherited and now she needs a bodyguard. In comes our hero who is actually a fighter and he's disfigured because of all his bloody fights and his dark past and he is hired to protect her and to make sure that she is kept safe until she finds a proper suitable husband. But little did they both know that they would actually end up falling in love. And if you're looking for a romance featuring a heroine who is very smart and that is actually a scientist then you definitely need to check out this one called A Lady's Formula for Love by Elizabeth Everett. And now this one involves our female heroine who is a scientist. She has a club full of other female scientists and the crown actually recognizes this her for her education and her brilliance and also her work that she's done. So she's actually doing something for the crown that is like an undercover spy mission kind of thing and she needs protection because she is a female and that she is not physically trained to protect herself. So they actually hire her uh, guardian to kind of protect her and he is taken aback by her brilliance all the time. He is always shocked by her intelligence, the way that she speaks, the things that she does. And obviously he's also shocked about how much trouble she gets herself in because she does a lot of these experiments and she is always constantly running into danger when enemies of the crown try to hurt her. And now it's kind of up to him to make sure that the mission is a success but also making sure that the love of his life is also safe too as well. And then the last recommendation that I do have for you is one from an author that I have read before. This is actually book number three in her series called Bow Street Bachelor series. I've read book one and two so I haven't read this one yet but this one's called The Princess and the Rogue and this one involves our heroine who is actually a princess but because she's like put into danger she has to go into hiding and she's been living under a secret identity for a lot of years now. But then what happens is that the villains are hot on her trail and that they are going to capture her and possibly kill her if she doesn't have protection. So she has a Bow Street runner who is our hero who kind of watches over her and makes sure that she's not dying or that she's not going to get killed anytime soon. And he is kind of like confused because he doesn't know that she is the princess. So this is kind of like a romance where it's kind of forbidden because our hero, you know, doesn't come from a royal lineage and he's kind of a rogue. You know, he doesn't have the squeakiest clean past. It sounds like this kind of forbidden romance too as well where obviously hopefully love prevails. But anyways that is it for all the recommendations that I do have for you for historical romances involving bodyguards. Um, I feel like that there are a lot of romances like historical romance wise where our hero is very protective of our heroine but they wouldn't say that it's necessarily like a full-on bodyguard. So that's why I kind of have only a few recommendations for you here now. But if you guys do have any bodyguard romances that you've really enjoyed in the historical romance genre, 
let me know in the comments down below and let's add it to our TBRs. But I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.